I spent three hours doing overlays this morning, man. <laughs> I want to make sure everyone's protected. I don't want to redo these overlays. Tired. Alright, and I gotta be up in the morning early. Death, blood, sacrifice! More, more, more! <laughs> Look, listen. Listen, alright? I made a I made a bet with fame. Alright? I have to make a team that doesn't I have to make a team where nobody, nobody at all dies. Before the eighth gym. Alright? It's a bet. It's a bet. I mean, I plan on doing that anyways. Like, I don't plan on anybody dying until at least, like, the Elite Four. That's my goal. Be easy to find a Geodude. Interesting. Pro tip. <laughs> but Geodude is not going to be part of my team. I don't want him part of my team. No. Red, how is Canada th these days? I haven't been there since I was eight. Or nine. Granite Cave. Granite Cave. Yeah, I know I can get Geodude with Rock Smash. Forgot, oh, I almost forgot that was a thing. Almost. Almost. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba. Speaking of you, dude. Graveler is such an underrated mon. Is it? Either I'm just not, like, choosing the right moveset for Graveler, or... Or maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. I never claimed to be good at video games. I never claimed to. Pretty much says almost every stream. I never claimed to be good at video games. Where's he sending out again? Much amp? Much hop? Geo dude. Earthquake by level up self destruct for emergencies. Ah, uh, but see, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Poke. It's a Nuzlocke. Self-destruct ain't gonna cut it, man. In a normal playthrough, self-destruct fine. In a Nuzlocke? Uh-uh. Nice, we have the Rona thing handled, and jobs are plenty. It must be nice. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here in the US getting hours cut at a full-time level. I'm growing smoker on weed? Nice. I don't smoke, personally, but... Nice. Uh, use it in Nuzlocks. Why do you use self-destructed Nuzlocks, man? Like, that's a that's a one-off. Do you just have, like, a line of Geodudes line, or a line of Gravelers lined up? It's your only chance to win. It's your only chance to win. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. But special. See, the thing is, like, I, I take Nuzlocke's almost to a serious point. Obviously, um, I don't, I don't overlevel play on set. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, wipe your whole team, uh, and you gotta blow something up. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, fair. Fair. See, the thing is, I'm, I'm just doing, like, a standard Nuzlocke, guys. Like, I ain't even doing, like, a, a Nuzlite, a randomized Nuz, uh, random lock, uh, an egg lock. I ain't doing a solo lock. Like, I'm just doing, like, a, like, the old school lock. Like, I'm doing, like, the old school, like, when Nuzlocke first was introduced. Rules. Because that's what I grew up with. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up with that shit. I say that. I grew up with that shit back in high school. 
<laughs> I like the old school rules. All this like randomizer, uh, fucking egg lock, solo lock, nuzz light, whatever the fuck locks it is. Shit. Uh, okay, fair. But have you ever tried like not being sweeped? Like being, like getting a good enough team to where you didn't have to worry about the sweeps. Have you tried that? At this point, I'm almost talking out my ass, but like. Shit, man. You gotta use Graveler to, to get you out of sweeps, like. <laughs> All right, Winona in set mode. But ah, or Drake. Okay, yeah, no Drake. I can understand. Um, Winona, not so much, but Drake, I can understand. So I, I again, I don't, I don't plan. No one loves Dragon Dance because dragons. Because motherfucking dragons, man. Motherfucking dragons. Enough said. Enough said. All right, they didn't they didn't give dragons too much of a chance in Gen One uh, or Gen Two, and they're like, you know what? Fuck it, dragons. Fucking throw Dragon Dance out there, like shit, man. It's all about. Stab is special, so it's still not that good. Eh, that's fair. That's fair. But like at the same time, like when you go up against people who don't have that good a special defense, so a special stab ain't that bad either. Like it's not that good, but it's not that bad. Pickle meter gen four was a bit of overcompensation. All right, no fair. Um, Outrage and Dragon Dragon Meteor, Draco Meteor. Sorry. Um, Outrage and Draco Meteor, man, that was the shit back then. All right, back in Gen Four, four generations ago, four score and seven years ago. Um, it was the shit. Changed my mind. I was the I was the person that used Outrage Draco Meteor back in Gen 4. <laughs> Look, it was just too good, man. <laughs> back in my generation, we didn't even have fairy types. The fuck is a fairy? <laughs> Oh, man. Shit, back in my day, they didn't have special and physical uh, separation. <laughs> the fuck is Eviolite? <laughs> Chance he doesn't need that. What the fuck is Eviolite? Like, I still don't know what that is. Is it a thing? What the fuck is it? What does it do? Dust Clops, man. Dust Clops. Dust Clops for the win. I will agree with Dust Clops. What the fuck is Eviolite? Compound Eyes. I was honestly, I'm honestly contemplating swapping out Riley here for a um, for a Sableye. I'm kind of contemplating that. Dust claps them, <laughs> dust claps them cheeks. Let's go. 
Oh man. Uh, it's an item that multiplies the defense, uh, special defense of Pokemon that can evolve, that can evolve by 1.5. What the fuck? Man, who needs this shit? That makes Chansey and Dusclops better than they than their evolutions. Ooh. The Gen 5 item. I figured it would be. I figured it would be. It's super easy. Easy. Hmm. And maybe I just have never paid attention to it. I don't know. All right, everyone's kind of super low. I'm just gonna throw Philly out there. Rise at least at level 14. One time I played uh, played through Sun, didn't even evolve my Mistrevis. That fucking good. I just have it never die. I just have it never die with an Eviolite. Hmm. You're tempting me. Oh, a lot of teen options. Okay. You also love your poison types. You also love your poison types, man. Like, that's fair. Um, I'll have to check that out. I'm kind of curious about that. I do plan on eventually doing um, a 4th gen, 5th gen playthrough. I have the ROMs for them. Uh, I, I know, I know Mischievous isn't a poison type, it's, it's, um, what, a ghost type? Fuck, it's been so long. Um, but you did say earlier you love your poison types, and you were talking... Hold on, maybe I just have a little bit much alcohol in me. Um... Fuck, I can't remember. My brain escapes me. My bad. Mr. Vess is a, a, a poison type, brother. Whoa there, brother. <laughs> Sorry. It's also been such a long time since I've played Pokemon for nearly four fucking hours. Uh, let's give a shout out to that. Let's go! forgot shit the gen 5 um honestly i miss gen 5 i mean i miss a lot of the generations because again the, the latest generation i played was pokemon sword and shield uh, which is hot garbo um by any standards honestly people legitimately ask me if they should get pokemon sword and shield and i'm just sitting here going no if you like to have your your hand uh, taken and walked through the entire fucking game, then yeah, sure. Oh my fucking god. I keep talking. Oh there, brother. Don't you know they're your dike chart? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> oh there, brother. Dude, Gen 5. Gen 5 kind of set the bar a little bit again. Um, sorry, reset the bar. I love the fuck out of Gen 5. Every single time. Oh, his T is a banger. Fuck yeah, it is. You know what? I might, uh, I might play this after the stream today. Um, I might. I might just. I know we had Gen 5 perfected the NPC AI. Uh, it kind of did, actually. Uh, looking back at it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't we don't talk about Gen 6. After Gen 5, we don't talk about Gen 6. We don't, we don't talk about Gen 6, man. Gen 6 doesn't exist. Gen 6 was a myth. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Also, I want to give a big shout out to you guys because you're watching me do the same shit 
over and over again for like the past like two hours. <laughs> Fucking love you guys. You guys are awesome. Made it as bad as OG Gen 1. A, 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 A. Okay, in terms of the NPCs, I, I agree with you on that one, Red. But but don't 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 bring don't bring Gen 1 down to Gen 6 level in terms of like gameplay and story and whatnot, man. Like yeah, I hope you're not doing that. I hope it's just for the NPC side of it. I will fight you. Then again, I grew up on Gen 1. Gen 1. I'll write. Actually, I grew up on Gen 2. Gen 1 was afterwards, but... Gen 1 doesn't have a story. It does have a story, man. It does have a story. Have you played Gen 1? Have you truly played Gen 1? Okay. Okay, Red. Okay, Red. I forgive you for that one. I really agree with you on that. Uh, but story-wise, Gen 1 does have a story. I'd have to agree to disagree. Um, okay, I'd have to agree to disagree. It's a product of its time at best. Ooh, okay. Okay, them, them be fighting words. Them's be fighting words. Them right there be fighting words. Um... But no, I mean you're not you're not actually wrong on that. Um, it was it was good for its time, and it's uh, it's still a good nostalgia to go back to. But like, eh. Badge boost my way to the elite four at level forty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Gen One, man. I mean, you get you get to the champion, and all of a sudden, fucking blue comes out of nowhere, and it's like, "What's up, man? How would you like to fight my my experienced team that'll fuck you up?" And you're just sitting there going, "Ah, shit! <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what did I do wrong?" You accept it for being the glitchy mess that it is. Uh, and then you kick his ass. <laughs> uh, I accept it for being the glitchy uh, mess that it is. It's the uh, most customizable gen. Yes, it is. Uh, Red, you kick his ass. Yes, you're not wrong. You kick Blue's ass every single time. The the downside is, like, you, you go in there, you're like, man, I'm going to whip out my fucking, like, level 70 Blastoise. Uh, let's go. And I say level 70 because I was a kid that always overleveled. Obviously, you're seeing it right now. Um... <laughs> Walk through walls. Hold up, Poke. You were walking through walls. The shit glitch was that. And why have I never encountered it? Uh, also, Red Star. Thank you for the follow, man. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. You were awesome. <laughs> Stay classy, San Diego. Three glitches to walk through walls. Alright, well, I guess I was never the kid that decided to glitch my game to walk through walls. Fuck, I didn't know that was a thing. What? Oh, wasn't there an article recently about a fish who completed, um, what was it, Pokemon Ruby or something like that? And discovered a glitch in the third generation that no one had ever discovered before? Uh, one of them as early as Brock. Alright, Poke, you gotta elaborate on that. Um, and yes, Red Star, a fish. Look it up. Fish completes Pokemon game and discovers glitch or some shit like that. I don't know. Um, look it up, guys. Look it up. Uh, you only did the Mew and Misigno glitch. Okay, Misigno, I knew about that one. Um, well, walking through walls, I never knew that one. Misigno was a badass one. It, it was also a risky one. I don't know about the Mew glitch because... Wow, I almost did it again. Um, keep talking to you guys. <laughs> Which is good, right? For you. Um, Mew, I know he hides under a truck in first gen, which is a, a BS call. And why they allow that to happen, I'll never know. But, oh well. Uh, let's see, you know how there's an NPC TP right at the... Yeah. Yeah, the, the the one annoying guy that's like, oh, sorry, you haven't you haven't passed the gym yet. You passed her without beating Brock. How?
Oh god, I had to cough. Decided to spare your guys' ears. Poke over here already getting his ears uh, broken by planes that are passing over. I had decided to spare you guys. You just walk right in front of him and save. Okay. Oh shit, Jacksepticeye went live. Nice. Um, playing Raft. I haven't played that game in a long time. Holy shit, an Abra! Okay. I forgot that was a thing. Teleport. Bye. Um, let's see. So we just walk past and uh, walk in front of him and save. And when it starts, you take uh, to take you back when you reload. Hold right and you go right past it. Huh. I'm gonna have to try that one out, uh, Poke. I'm gonna have to try that one out. I'm curious. Not that I need to do it, but like I'm curious. How did you discover this glitch? Did you just like look up glitches on YouTube? How to glitch on Pokemon Red. Click. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, if you do this glitch, <clears throat> how bad is a fuck with your game? Because I'm going to create different save states if I'm going to do that on an emulator. <clears throat> the game doesn't know what you do, what to do if you talk with the guy that doesn't let you pass. So if you pass him and then decide to talk to him, it doesn't know what to do? Confused. <clears throat> so his miner set up by talking with him, you talk to him and can walk through the walls. Interesting. That, that is actually kind of cool though. I don't know who discovered this glitch or how you discovered this glitch, but, um, interesting. Interesting. You figured out the getting past him part when you were a kid, and you remembered it? What? I'm more amazed that you just remembered it. I thought it was more complicated. I found out uh, about a year ago. Just, I'm, just, I'm seriously more amazed that you remembered that from a, being a kid. Hold on, so famous 20. How old are you? Twenty-two. Alright. Alright, there's clearly shit that I was just, like, not doing as a kid. I apparently, because I'm, I'm 26, almost 27, man, like, fuck. <laughs> it's clearly shit that I was doing as, not doing as a kid. Alright, you got me beat on that one. That's fair. Hey, same, 22, let's go 20s! What up? <clears throat> what up, though? I mean, to be fair, I was kind of sheltered as a kid. Like, I played uh, my first time playing Pokemon. I think I was um shit, man. I don't even remember. Uh, I feel like an old man looking at the shit kids. <laughs> Watch on TV, thinking to myself, what I watched was much better than this. <laughs> this is a 22 game. You can't join Boomer. All right, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, Gen Z. The shit out of here. Alright, don't be talking to a millennial like that. Fuck you. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. <laughs> uh, but Poke, you're not wrong. I will say... Um, Pokemon Journeys is interesting. It's not as good as what we used to watch. However, it's interesting. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's interesting.
You make Sonic laugh at me, huh? Alright, Red Starlet, bet. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <laughs> asswipe. Fucking <laughs> asswipe. Let's go. Uh, the most non shit TV show I know of that kids were exposed to uh, as of some time was Adventure Time. I will I will agree with Adventure Time. I will agree with Adventure Time, but everything past that is definitely hot garbage. Hot, hot, steaming pile of garbage. That's Adventure Time. <laughs> I mean, you want to take it back, like... Ex excluding Adventure Time, like, the, the last, like, good show... Good shows... Uh, were, like, Danny Phantom... Um, Cat Dog, uh, Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Lab, um, Ben 10, the original Ben 10, not this new shit. Dude, Danny Phantom is definitely lit, man. I want like, I wish they would, uh, I wish they could, would continue. I think, uh, a few years back, the, the creator of Danny Phantom actually drew out a, uh, a grown-up version of Danny and his friends. Uh, and it was actually pretty badass. I'm like, that's that's officially canon. He drew that. That is canon. Uh, now, if they could just make that into a show, that'd be awesome. I want to know what kind of new powers he has, uh, what he can do. Invader Zim, dude, yes. Dude, new Ben 10. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, I stopped after Alien Force. Man, Alien Force was was pretty badass, even past the original Ben 10 series. Alien Force was still pretty good. As soon as it got to, um, where was it? Where his his monsters could be like evolved or whatever. I forgot. As soon as I got to that point, I was like, eh, now you're stretching it. But Ben 10 and Alien Force were were the shit back in the day. That was like the last of of, of the good cartoons, with the exception of um, the exception of Adventure Time. Inuyasha, dude, straight up. Um, I will, I will vouch for Inuyasha, man. Like seriously, like uh, I grew up in terms of like straight up anime. Um, I was watching, uh, obviously, you know, Dragon Ball Z, like everyone else does. Um, but then I got into Inuyasha, and I was like, oh, dude, this is fucking badass. Um, it had a logical reasoning. I'll have to revisit uh, the new form, uh, Ben Ten. Uh, but for anime, like, as, as soon as I started watching Inuyasha, I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. Um, and there was another one that I was starting to watch at the time. Teen Titans. Ew. Teen Titans Go is playing, like, 24-7? Ugh. Y'all remember the old Teen Titans? Can they bring that back? Shit, like a continuation off of the old Teen Titans. Don't even remake it, just give me a continuation of the old Teen Titans. Fuck, man. That's what it's all about. Dude, Old Teen Titans was the shit. Remember that, uh, remember that arc that Cyborg fucking had with the Hive? Uh, where he just started, like, disintegrating and then all of a sudden he reassembled himself and just fucking kicked the, whatever his face's name is, again? It's fucking badass, dude. I fucking love that entire series of episodes of that, of that series. The entire series was, was great. I, I, I'm sad about the Teen Titans. The only, the only remake or reboot or whatever, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I don't even know anymore, of Teen Titans um, that I accepted was the uh, the newer DC movies for Teen Titans, uh, like Teen Titans vs. Justice League. Um, there was another Teen Titans one. Um, let's see, the Omnichucks took the DNA of the aliens and put them through a simulation of 10 million years of constant war. That was the explanation for the new forms of aliens after Alien Force? Holy shit! 
I definitely need to watch that, man. What the fuck? All right, I'm adding that to the list again. I've been wanting to watch rewatch Ben 10 anyways. That's actually pretty fucking cool though. The Omnitrix is actually smart enough to to do that kind of simulation of 10 million years of constant war on its own.